Yeah, a short and intense little session in there was just what I needed. I feel awesome now. You know, I, I think sometimes when you sleep weird, fall asleep late and wake up, my skin feels weird. So a sauna is really nice for that. Um, yeah, and now I'm actually, it's like only two hours, a little more than two hours left till I break the fast. And now I'm actually starting to get some hunger. And it's so cool. It's like my mind and body are communicating perfectly. Like now my body is hearing my mind say, yeah, now, now we will soon get to eat. Um, so no hunger uh, at all. I mean, no cravings, no side effects uh, up until the fast is 98% done. And then I'm starting to get a little, you know, just thinking a little bit about what I'm going to eat and stuff. So this is exactly what having an eating disorder is not like. Having full control over your, uh, what you eat, being able to not eat for a few days, being able to then fully enjoy good food. It's not binge eating. It's not you, you know, falling back uh, into your drug nest because, you know, I must eat this much. I didn't eat for a lot. I'm active. I train. It's only healthy for me to eat that, like that. This is what a caveman would do. A strong caveman that hadn't gotten any food uh, for a few days. And then he managed to take that mammoth, you know, and uh, yeah, then he ate a whole lot of it. So, yeah, I'm going to do a topic. Uh, I've thought about many good video topics. I think I'm going to, in my last video about this fast, I'm going to go through them and let you say which one interests you. But uh, comparing fasting and an eating disorder is one good I have that I think some people at home would appreciate because, you know, people have dumb thoughts about fasting. Very dumb. So, yeah. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to take a little uh, walk to... Uh, not take the fastest way just to get a nice little half hour walk maybe go to the store get a few things i couldn't get yesterday you're not gonna have to come with me on that but let's jump to when i break the fast so we're finally here on hour 100 you know what i'm just gonna check that my angle here is good does this look good yeah you can see me awesome um uh, yes uh, <laughs> hour 100 and now ooh, this is some discipline right here just uh, putting out all of this um, so it looks pretty on camera for you guys without having anything because I just want to deliver the real deal yeah so I started at 10 a.m. on the 27th it's now um, 2 p.m. on the 31st yes uh, yeah see um, yeah, it's a little more, I guess. Wow, more, over 100 hours. So, yeah, uh, let's see if I'm going to let you stay for the whole meal. It depends on how, and, and, and God, there's some word, how involved I get in this. Maybe I forget about the camera and that's, yeah, that's a little weird, just seeing me eat for a few minutes. But uh, let me tell you what I got here. So we have some apple cider vinegar that I'm going to start with, then some sauerkraut. Uh, for my gut microbiome, um, some kiwis, uh, nice, um, yeah, you know, some fructose, I uh, just love it. You know, if you're a full carnivore, like I've said, I think human beings should eat mostly animal-based um, uh, foods, but uh, you really, if you skip things like this, you really lose out on something. Fructose is just awesome before a workout, and I'm going to do an intense workout after this. Then we have some sweet potatoes and then some Schwarzwald Schinken. And that's not Swedish, that's German. Like, what are you, American? Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just joking around. Uh, special mood, great mood. Um, this is what I'm going to treat myself with today. I have Fanta Free Raspberry, my absolute favorite uh, soft drink. Uh, it's not a sweet as um, most uh, even you know light sodas so i like that it wasn't cold yet so i had this good uh, brilliant idea to mix it with frozen berries blueberries and raspberries so i think that's going to be pretty cool and now i presented it all for you so let's go ahead and break it starting out yeah you gotta you gotta brace yourself for this one it's um ginger chili turmeric i think 
it's called something like that in English. Gurkmeja. That's, I think, the best part got stuck in there. Yeah. Okay. Let's hit the kraut. Love sour kraut. No, I think it's pretty good like any day, but I don't know. It's very satisfying mm. when you break the fast. And now I probably, because I often start out with this, probably associate it with getting prepared. Mm. Well, I, I probably will keep eating when I work out today, but if you want to know, my thoughts like this is just a treat you know um but this some lean kind of lean uh, protein source lots of protein here like this 100 grams 27 grams is protein so that's good sweet potatoes nice starchy carbs need carbs now very depleted and of course the fructose and also just vitamin c and other cool stuff apple cider vinegar you know to be honest i I just like it and I know uh, it's supposed to help burn fat but I think it's good for the kidneys too just just a nice thing to start out with wheat and like I said this you know coal yeah I w want you to understand something that I learned I got introduced to fasting for real by coal and I love the guy and I agree with him on most things I've talked to him uh, for a bit a messenger uh, but uh, we we are not, you know. I don't follow any cult, uh, any group. I'm not, you know. I extract always from great men. I find the great men that I really, you know, um, that inspire me. Uh, I extract what I think is the best parts of them, and then you know, I'm confident in myself. So you know, I don't have to agree with anything. And uh, I mean everything, and that's fine. But so. Something I definitely agree with Cole about that he talked about uh, in his latest uh, live stream is that I think you get a week only eating meat actually. You're going to be very sensitive uh, to everything else in a while. And you know, you just gotta have to maybe go if you have severe gut is issues or something, maybe go on a carnivore diet for a while to you know um, get clean and then. But try adding stuff back. Uh, I, there's so many good things. I mean, meat, uh, it's much healthier. Uh, it, it's the main thing you need. Uh, we've, some of us have been fooled by that, being told that bacon is dangerous and stuff. But I for sure think you should try and keep some other things like this in your diet. Mm. This is probably going to be a pretty long video, so I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but on New Year's Day, that's nice, right? People often take it chill then. So we'll see. I'll see if I get a buddy of mine to appear on video. I usually don't bring other people's, uh, people into my videos, like more than in the background or something, but let's see if he wants to. It's a special day, you know, and we're going to have a very nice dinner. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm gonna eat for like eight hours today, probably. Mm. Probably averaging 1k calories per hour. Okay, so I've scaled these kilis, and I know that's not how you say it, but I'm Swedish and I don't know how to say it in English. So what do you want from me, right? So just because it's so picky, the uh, looked weird. I mean, uh, it could take me a while to eat them on camera the normal way. So, but you know, real men eat kiwis in one bite, anyways. But of course, you already knew that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad I did it this way so it doesn't look weird. I expected it to be a bit softer. It's good, but you know, some some kiwis are really soft and just... 
like that. Oh, let's have a sip of this. That's that's really good. It's like, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's like it's not uh, fully a soda taste, not fully a smoothie taste. Nice average. Maybe two bites. Mm. Of course, in the middle was soft. Let me get some paper. <clears throat> mm. I think, oh, I think this has been my favorite fast ever. Um, I think I had lately maybe been not, I mean, I've been feeling so good. And uh, say it so many times, I almost get tired hearing myself say it, but it's true that I was, I always felt so much worse than I've done uh, this last year. So, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, kind of lose track of thought, but yeah, you, you know, um, I, I, this year I felt so much better than I've ever done. And now fasting, I realized that maybe lately I've been a little bit stressed and just a little bit negative. So I feel like this was just the perfect way to end this year, to start out 2020, like on the top of the world. Because the future looks so bright and feels so bright, you know. Let's have some shinken. Mm. Yeah, that's the stuff. You see? I don't really make a big deal out of this. I mean, of course, I put it out a little pretty like this for the video, but this I never do when I just eat uh, off camera. Um, but yeah, this is so cool. Like the first time I broke a five day fast, it was of course a big deal. Oh, this food is so good. And yes, of course, this is really nice, but it's really not a big deal. Uh, human beings used to be without food for days. And you know, it's not really a big deal what I'm doing here. I'm just going back to our ancestors' way of life, you know? Yeah, I think that's it for this. You don't have to watch me eat this. I'm gonna give you some clips from my workout. Uh, it's gonna be a full body workout I can do it pretty nicely in my home gym here. My uh, big gym is uh, closed today, obviously. Uh, but I'm gonna go hard and eat a lot, uh, you know, for both pleasure and gains. It's gonna end up being, it feels so good, you know. Uh, being being uh, interested in building muscle, increasing strength, uh, it just feels so good when you haven't been able to train uh, regularly in a few days. Just going crazy with the food and you know the workout is going to be really nice and then i'm gonna rest tomorrow because probably gonna hopefully gonna get sore that's my goal and then i go back to my upper lower split on the day after that but yeah so I'll see you in the gym then you gonna get her oh
Så är det. Så är det. Vi har en sista. Har du? Ja, det har du. Åh, jag ska berätta hur dåligt min farsa hjälpte mig att filma sen. Väldigt boomer. Förlåt pappa, om du ser men det var plantigt. Det var det. It was somewhere around this point I realized that I've actually caught a cold. And in my mind, uh, that wasn't even a possibility because I haven't really been sick in such a long time. Uh, but um, not a very strong cold, no fever, but enough to put my performance down. So uh, after this, I decided to restructure the workout. Uh, not as, uh, like not do it as structured actually, just get a nice pump, get some work for the whole body. Yeah. Oh, that the young oh. Fifan. Squat 100. 100 rep also. Oh, yeah. That's good. 1% clear. Filma. Jag så här. Kom. Jag tror jag har vikt. Tungt. Crap machine. drank a little bit too much water, exhausted, so I got a little gap here, but what do you say? Oh no, I don't want to fast, I don't want to lose muscle. 100 hours fasted, does it look like I lost muscle? Lots of fun pulling a nagel. Yeah. Yeah. Ending with a little bodybuilder shoot. Some quads, maybe. Decent. Yeah. What do you think of this? It looks pretty good. And it's not. That's not all, folks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Det var ett berg i Österrike och därifrån kom grisen. Det är 27 det är 27 det är att man är här i det här fläsket faktiskt för att det är mycket mer än vad det är i allt annat fläsk och till och med mer än vad det är i många andra. Det är det. Så det är ganska intressant. Så jag vet inte bara om jag gör det uppe i bergen, men någonting är det. Yeah, he bought me this, uh, this mountain, mountain pig, uh, mountain swine, and uh, yeah, we're gonna eat it. That's the raclette. Mm. The raclette was e exquisite. Exquisite.
Så, ja, alla add subtitles. Men nu med facit i hand, vad var det bästa då? Det här första som som vårdkanskapet är prylmat. Kanske bäst, vänta. Det är bäst att nämna att vi har inget sponsring av vårdkanskapet eller något. Vi bara genuint tycker att det här är en väldigt fin produkt. Det, det var riktigt bra det. Ja, jag håller med. Det var väldigt bra, bra. nötfärs. Men... <skratt> alltså, kolla, man kan äta den här då. Ja. Den smakar ju alltså nästan en i munnen. Grymt god. Alltså, sen så är det ju jävligt gott med lövbiff och raklättosten. Liksom. Lövbiff är alltid gott. Men du har klätt osten i det som gör det. Jag har klätt också då, men den påminner väldigt mycket om många omgångsar. Jag skulle säga att det inte är något speciellt med just det där mm. Det är min personliga bedömning. Jag håller inte med, men jag köper ändå. Mm. Det, men vänta, jag vill bara säga att det här grisen du köpte till mig i Schweiz tycker jag var den bästa. Det är inte Schweiz, det är Österrike. Förlåt, men vad fan, Alperna rätt snön. Bergen i Österrike. <laughs> Sorry. Berggrisen i Österrike. Ja. Bra, prima gris. Mm. Och som sagt, 27 ger frukter mycket högre på tur av en all annan gris. Mm. Jag köpte, köpte i alla gris. Nej, men den var riktigt fin. Ja, ja. ja men det får räcka. I think that's enough from our dinner at least. You know, I was gonna, I thought it was gonna be 100% sober uh, this night. I mean, we've had like two beers and uh, a couple of small vodka shops. I don't think I'll have any more. But we'll see what we even do tonight. We're not sure, but maybe this is it. You know, thank you for coming along on my Christmas fast. It was a lot of fun. I think we came closer to each other this time. All right. Have a great 2020. So some other guys came over, had some more to drink than I had planned. I thought I wasn't actually maybe gonna drink anything or maybe one or two units or whatever. Had a few more, but you know, was uh, not a big deal, especially not with all that meat we ate. Went out, looked at some fireworks. And yeah, I kind of caught a little cold actually, surprised. You know, because since I started fasting, I haven't really been sick. You know, I'm starting to feel a little bit. And uh, then uh, it just gets squashed. I actually dry fasted for like 24 hours a couple of times when I felt something in. No, no illness. This time a little bit more, but still only in my nose. No fever. Feels like it's going to be better already tomorrow. So... You know, if any of you know, by the way, so I'm kind of, now I'm kind of tired and all. Gonna probably, I hope to get some nice sleep tonight. But, um, yeah, you know, it's after 48 or 72 hours, there, uh, somewhere in the window there, when um, your immune system, your, your white blood cells, um, a part of autophagy, you know, the body can somehow identify cells that are damaged in some way so among other cells that get rinsed out or renewed through autophagy, uh, autophagy are white blood cells and then i think i think i'm not sure but uh, you you don't create new fresh ones until you eat again so it's just a theory i have here that maybe they're in between where you have maybe fewer white blood cells maybe you're more vulnerable there but then still you know, being healthier than I used to be, you know, the cold just doesn't give, doesn't get that, uh, get more than this, a little <laughs> nose thingy. Sorry if that sounded disgusting on camera. Um, no, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, you know, I knew some things I wanted to film today, but wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out. Maybe I'll add something because I'm not going to edit this now uh, at half two uh, in 2020. Happy New Year. Um, but maybe I'll add something tomorrow. See if I have something on my mind. I have something on my mind.
No, I'm kidding. I really don't. <laughs> but yeah, I've finished editing the other part of the video. So just adding this some kind of conclusion or something. So you can hear my, I, I did get a little sick, as I said. Not a very, you know, if I I'd, if I had to go to work or something would be fine, but I'd still prefer not to be sick, you know. So I had a nice low carb pizza plan that I was going to make today. Uh, absolutely did not plan on fasting anymore because, you know, I just did this 100 hour fast. But I've been thinking for a long time that if I do get sick, I'm going to try and do what I've done when I start feeling something, I've done a 24 hour dry fast. So actually ended up fasting this first year of 2022. So I started out with a sauna this morning after just having some apple cider vinegar and stuff. Uh, and now dry fasting for a day. Yeah, but I think we're all done now with this Christmas fast. So thank you. It was a lot of fun. The, for sure, my favorite fast in many ways just reached a new level of understanding of life, new level of Zen, new connection, stronger connection to you guys. Thank you all, a lot of fun. I said I was gonna go through some video ideas and you can say in the comments if you are interested, but one was uh, comparing fasting to eating disorders, to, you know, tell th all those people that think you, you you're the one, uh, you're the one not eating all day, uh, not eating 15 hours every day, you're the one with the eating disorder, they think. So one video about that, one about how to gain true confidence, uh, one about how to learn the truth about everything, how to know the truth. Yeah, yeah I, I can't, I, I haven't written down some, of, but I'm just done, you know, now. I'm gonna chill now. But, but please, come on. Uh, drop suggestions if you want to see something, you know, anything. If you just want to know about my life, my how I grew up, anything that uh, would interest you, you know, it's fun for me. Yeah, now I think I'm done talking to the camera for at least for today. So thank you all. Hit like, subscribe. I love you guys. Take care. Have a nice... Great 2020, it's gonna be awesome.